Are you there? Are you there? I'm here. Yeah, the internet's spotty until this is fixed, but it's interesting. Okay. I'm glad we're doing this now because before I have another TV hit, they got to get this fixed. Uh, they got to get this fixed. To. Yeah, because it's it's obviously, I knew it was a problem. Okay, so you did HD and then you did do the spy as well. Right, because by the time you called the PM call on the spy, I was out of HD, which was probably a mistake. It started to back up a teens and I, you know, like you... I always feel better when you're in something too because I know like yes I have confidence I thought it would go you didn't really love it but gyro liked it so I'm like okay so I was actually looking for 325 and it almost got there it backed up a little and then I got out so by 10 10 I was out of it yeah okay and then and then when you called the PM spy what I did was I I made 316 dollars in the HD and I was pretty happy with that because I only took 50 shares so my risk was three hundred fifty dollars. So I made three hundred sixteen. So I didn't really have to take the spy, but I thought to myself, if the market really rolls over, like Melissa says, it's going to roll over, then I really want to be in something, even if yes. it's a little bit. Yeah. So what I did was I took twenty five shares, so that my risk was a hundred dollars. So that if I lost it, I wouldn't have. I still would have been green for the day. That's good. But yet I was in it a little bit to ride it down, and I did. I should have gotten out right around two when it hit 325 no it hit what 420 what did it hit 420. well we had a big we had a big bounce it's so hard to time these things yeah it's so hard to well time i these knew things. biden was talking so yeah. i knew i really wanted to be out of it before then so i actually exited it at 427 so i made four r's in that so that was 100 bucks i know that was great that was fabulous yeah. so that was really good so you and I'm having a really, really, really good year. I know. That's, and, and, and I just said this morning, it's because we're being strict. And then I yes. can't get out of that first drop. <laughs> and what I always think is good is, is that somebody with a small account like mine can look at my positives. Yeah. And say, okay, like I've made, since January 4th, I've made almost, uh, what did I say, $4,000? That's great. That's, that's fabulous yeah. for you. It's a great start to the year. We've hardly had any losers, though. That's why. That's true. That And and a couple of days that we lost in one, we made in the other. Yes. You know what I mean? My biggest thing with having the small account is when I do something like the spy or the cues or it's something expensive. like that, I can't take a lot of shares. Yeah, but that's okay. You can do odd lots. So that's good that you yeah. can do odd lots. And I tell you, the best trade of the year so far for me, my day trade, was PayPal. Yeah, that was the best, yeah. hands down, and everything, every single yeah. solitary thing. But yeah, I didn't, in fact, I didn't look at that today. I didn't look and see what that did today. I didn't either. I have to uh, look well, at that. Which, tonight is, tomorrow morning is Lowe's. So we'll see. I mean, I don't know if we'll get a good one in Lowe's because it depends on if HD keeps going today. I didn't even look at Lowe's today. Yeah, I didn't see how HD closed either. But, I mean... It's the same thing with small size and options. If you only do one contract, you can do well. Now, I mean, you were right. back and forth with the options. Tell me, so you're doing good with the day trades. That was your plan of action for 2022. Yeah. So what, what happened with the options was I had to dissolve my account because my daughter needed tuition money to finish paying for her hair school. Okay. So that's what I did with it. So until she pays me back, which maybe it will be within the next year, then I'll be able to do options. Oh, there again. you go. Okay. Yeah. So I keep... You know, I just think that with all the practice I'm getting in the exits, because, you know, with me, even with the options, it was always the exit that I always thought it, I could go further or further or further. Right. And, and I and I got spoiled because we did B.A. for so many times. <laughs> and I I told you I made eight thousand dollars in, a, in a, one contract of an option I one know, time. I know. So the problem with that is when you're new, when you have a great trade like that, you think they're all going to be like that. I know. I know. And so I've learned now, I think I'm with you now four years. What I've learned is <laughs> green is green. And when, and, and when you say, you say something really important that really sticks with me is there. So you give us a target, but they're areas. Right. So anything that comes close to that area, I'm out. Well, that's what you did with HD today. I said 325, yes. 325 if you did it. I wasn't crazy uh, about it. I had to go early. I said 325. It, it, it bounced in the morning initially, right before that, before it, it did. and then it did break it anyways. But I mean, again, you kind of, you just have to pick an area. It's the same, yeah. anything you have to say, okay, this is what I'm getting out, that's it. If it keeps going, I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm out with the profit, right. you know, whatever. Right, and I thought $300 for 50 shares, that, that was a good, that was you know, fabulous. that was good, yeah. good work. And, and I was out by 10. 
But when you looked at it and it went to 316, you're like, oh, if I only stayed in, it would have been like, I would have made like $1,600. So as far as, <laughs> no, I could be my own worst enemy, you know. But, no, but I mean, but, you're chunking it out. You're growing the yeah. account. You're up a lot. I mean, times it by 10 more months of the year. We're only two months into the year. So we got 10 more months of the year. If you can continue this track, but between now and 1231, then yes. you're going to feel so, so good by that point. And if you yep. don't take any money out, you'll have grown the account so much. So just right now, just stay on track with what you're doing and think yep. positive about that because you got to sometimes you just got to take the small takeaways and getting somewhere with it, getting somewhere with it. It's like if you were on a diet and you were losing weight, if you get up and you lost right. one pound, okay, that's one pound. You know what I mean? Uh, like that's you really want five in one day. Right. So that's you go back to eating your ice cream the exactly, next day. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I've been there too. It's the slow. It's the slow progress, but it's right. progress, and that's still good. Well, when you keep it in a notebook, like I do, I keep how many shares, my entrance, my exit, um, and then I always put the targets down, and then I put where I actually got out. So that I, I kind of like look back and, and I share it with Ben and how I'm doing and, and uh, you know, he just only cares that I'm green. But anyway, so it's, a, it's a learning process. It's a, it's a learning and I feel so much better. Like I, I, and the other thing I do is when the trade is over, I, I get out of my platform because what I also was doing was, so if we had like, say if we had the, the really great trade of PayPal. So I would get out and then I and then we, we would sign off the room and I'd be watching them go, oh, it's going to go again. It's going to go again. I want to be in it. Oh, and I do that and it would time? bounce and I would lose. Yeah. Oh, so. well, I know some people do that with the options. They get out and then they see that they got out too soon. They retake it and they pay a higher price. And then it backs right. up and then it doesn't go. And then they give back the profit from the first trade. So, yeah, you got to right. be careful with that. If you decide you're going to cut it. Then just cut it and or you get out of a half a position but you'd have to up your sizing in order right. to do that which i wouldn't do right now because we're at the tail end of earning season even if you're going to increase your sizing i would wait till next earning season even if you're going to do that yeah I, I increased my size a little bit for this one because we did so good even at the end and then yeah. the, at the end of late, that december we did really well too yeah. so that's why I, I think i upped it by like 50 to 75 dollars so i went from like like a 100 and 125 risk to now like I'm up to like a $200 risk. That's what I'm up to. I don't know how you trade when you travel though. I would never feel comfortable doing I that. Do. Like you did it and we're going, going to, we're going to Colorado in the middle of March and I bring, I bring my laptop and my MiFi and cause Ben's at a conference. So I, I'm there in the morning. I do it on vacation. I did it in Hawaii. I, do it I know. I don't know how you can concentrate though when you're. <laughs> I used to have a platform. I could do it on my phone. That was that was interactive brokers. But the only thing is, you need to hire. You know, you need to keep twenty five thousand dollars in there at all times. But you could do it on your phone. I would still feel nervous about doing that on Wi-Fi, but you you were trading at the hairdresser the other week. I don't know how I you did that either. I was, I do, and they all know what I do, so I'm like, do you mind if I keep track of my stock? That's really funny. That's really funny. So do you, I know. So I don't have. Then you don't have any questions. You're basically doing good. So you. you yeah, I'm doing good because I'm I'm listening to you, and like I said, targets are areas. I remember that, and then I shut the computer off when we're done for the day. Well, that's important. I didn't even yeah. hear what Biden said because I was so busy this afternoon and I was watching what was going on. What did he say? That makes I have no right. idea. And you know what? Does it really matter? Because <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing anyway. So. <laughs> I was just so, like, why is the market rallying when he's talking? Because usually it falls. <laughs> well, I think, and you know, that's why I wanted to get out. Because sometimes he starts to talk and the market will spike up. And then he'll start to talk and the mic market will go down. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be on that ride. So that's yeah. why two o'clock, you know, reversal time, I said, this is, I can get out here and walk away. And I had a really, really good day. Yeah. Really good, good day. Well, yeah, but you know, and I try and do the research in the morning because, you know, you're busy and, uh, you know, sometimes one of us can find that one trade, you know, like I was reading an article about Dollar Tree over the weekend. Right. That they had to close 400 stores because they had a rat infestation oh, in their warehouse. I didn't even look at the stock though. I did see that somewhere. It, you know what? It popped on Friday. Why? I don't know. But anyway. But you know, it, it, when I read news like that, it, it gives me a little thing. That maybe I should check it. Maybe I should check it. Well, so. certainly now in, in between earnings seasons, it's good to see what news things are going on because it might have a move. Yeah. Yeah. And Facebook, one of the ones was news on that. 
Yeah, you mean before when we started to short Facebook? Yes, yes. That was all their fines and everything. Yeah, yeah, before, you know? before it really fell out of the sky. But, you know, I don't see, I mean, it's sad to say, but I don't see the economy recovering anytime soon. And so I think we're going to be able to ride this wave at least until the midterms. Well, I think I'm, I feel like I even have to be hyper focused now because, again, it's like we're going to eventually go long again. You know right. what I mean? Like, it's like, when is that going to happen? I like I have to get up every day and look at it. Like, I was so certain, though, last week when it was Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, when I was like, we got to be really careful, really careful. And those are the days we, we rallied and then we fell off. Like, yep. you know, and, but, uh, you know, you just got to watch it every single second because, again, it's so volatile. But we the volatility has been on our side. It's been yes. on our side. So that's but again, going back to what you were saying about holding. Like PayPal was a good one to hold. Facebook, like you pick and choose the ones you want to hold. HD, I wasn't crazy about it. I thought it was spready. I thought it was going to open late. It didn't. And I also didn't know what the market was going to do right out of the gate. So like, don't right. kick yourself for not doing it. Again, I wasn't in love with it. Like pick and choose the ones you want to hold. Well, you can't hold everything all the time. I mean, the one good thing is you'll tell us if we want to go do something on our own, we can. But like, yeah, then you'll say, oh, I'd be out. I'd be it. Like, because you don't trust it. So, you know. <laughs> So, I, but I, you know, I listen, but, but it's, it's in this market, it's really good to be in and out fast because Biden could, or somebody could say anything, you know, about the Ukraine and it, you know. Well, the so. problem is I skim the stuff because if I have to talk on TV about it, but every different thing says something different. So if you read one thing, right. it says one thing. And if you read another thing, it says another thing. You know what I mean? So, I mean, how do right. you know what to believe anymore? But the one thing I think that's good about this year is like all last year. We kept rallying, and we were rallying on horrific data, yep. terrible data, which was crazy. And yep. now, actually, the market is starting to be more in sync with, I think, what is actually ha happening and going on. So if you need fundamentals and you're looking for that, you're seeing that now more than you saw in 2020 and 2021. Because I yeah. never thought we should have had the rally that we had in 2021. That made no sense to me at all. It was a fake rally. It really It was. It was. And, and things had no follow through. That was the other thing. So if we did get a really great short, yeah. there was no continuation. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the so, only thing that was a strong earnings was Google and it tanked. It had a beautiful gap and then it tanked. Tank, tank, tank. And I always think what's crazy is the ones that are reporting and then you say, like you said, wh where was the earnings? You know, there's no pop either way. There's no down, down pop to the downside or pop to the upside. Yeah. And that, and that was Google. And that was Apple. I mean, all the yeah, big Apple tech. Yeah, too. That's right. Apple as well. You can't even see where it went. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're Just doing great. Thanks. I'm so happy. I'm so happy yeah, for you. Yeah, I'm so, glad so too. One yeah. One of your daughters, one, wasn't one of your daughters training. One of your daughters is going to hairdresser school. Wasn't one of your daughters so training. So one does the Robin Hood. And okay. she, she, yes. And so what she does is she, she has another job, but like she puts her extra money in there. Um, and my son is in some long-term things like he likes Ford, like he likes things the way because he likes them, okay. but he's in it for, you know, he's 20, 27 years old. So he's in it for the long haul. But my oldest daughter, Allison, it's really good to ask her because she's in tune with the Reddit people. So I can ask her, what are they saying on Reddit? You know, because she had me buy shares for her in Nokia because Nokia is a Reddit stock. Okay. I haven't looked and it's that worth a like eight bucks, but <laughs> so oh, no, it was a Blackberry. No, it was Nokia. So she goes into yeah. the chat rooms and does whatever the Reddit people Yeah, have. she she listens to them, too. You know, she's a, a millennial, so. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's cute. Well, that's why you keep us informed of that. I know, I do. Even though that one is dead as a doornail, that one that started it all. In fact, I haven't yeah, looked at that. Yeah. yeah me. It's like, I haven't looked at it, but the last, every time I've looked at it, I'm like, oh, my land time. People keep buying it. Well, that's why I always say you should be on War Room because Steve Bannon sometimes has those Reddit people on. And he's like, he, he encourages them, you know, what you're doing is a great thing because they help each other out. Yeah. And I'm thinking Melissa's got to really do a spot on that show. Well, it's a great <laughs> thing if you're making money. It's a bad thing if you're losing money. <laughs> yeah. It's not yeah. funny and, if you're losing. It's only funny if you're winning. You know what I mean? But even, even Ben will say about BA, he says, well, things don't go down forever. And I said, how do you know? Well, How do you true. know they could get bought out? They could go bankrupt. You have no idea that things will, you know, they might go one way and you hope they go the other. But well, that's what I like. When, you know, you'll tell us if when it's time to buy BA, I'd listen to you over Jim Cramer any day. Well, I mean, look at Peloton. Who could have 
predicted <gasps> what would happen to that. And last year you would have said, I mean, we were all going to buy a Peloton oh and we love Peloton. And, you know, I mean, and again, people use exercise equipment even outside of COVID. But I mean, yep. look at what happened to that. I bought myself. I bought myself an Echelon because I like it. It's the cheaper version of a Peloton, okay. and it's just as good. So I've been using that every day because you know my uh, gym. I don't want to wear a mask when I work out. Well, you don't have to wear them there anymore, too, do you? No, we're done. We're done. But now I'm biking every day. So what I do is I listen. To, you know, I do you, and then I have my breakfast, and then I work out, and then I'm good for the day. Oh, that's so that's great. Good for you. Yeah. One yeah. day we'll get back to normal in New York. Uh, I. I hope so. I'd love to go and see a play. Although, you, you got to clean up that crime. It's a, it's a mess. Yeah. I know. Unfortunately, I know. the new mayor hasn't done anything yet. He hasn't done anything no. bad, but he hasn't done anything good. <laughs> he seems like a wimp. It's two months now, and I'm like, we're waiting, 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 waiting. I don't know. I, I think the governor's race is going to be really, really important for New York State. I do, too. I don't know. I, I'm hoping Lee Zeldin has a chance. I, I don't I don't even know. Because Hochul, Hochul's from up here. Everyone said when she was first, they said, oh, she's a moderate. She's a mo she's no, not, a, you know, she's oh, I, I won't moderate. take away your guns. She's a, she's a, a liberal. Do she's taking like guns. Do people like her? Are they supporting her up there? No, no. But she came from here and she first campaigned as don't like he picked her. Cuomo picked her because she was moderate because she was from Western New York. Okay. Well, she's not like anybody up here from Western New York. They like their guns up here. You know, they hunt. Yeah. You know, it's very red up here. It's a part of New York that's very red. So she's so. lost support now. You're saying? Oh yeah, yeah. Her husband is a big shot lawyer with the place. It's called Delaware North, and they own the Sabers. He makes tons of money. So interesting, she's, interesting. Yeah. Well, keep yeah. in touch with me, Jack. You're doing fabulous. I will. Thank you, Miss. I know it's so cute. It's so cute that people love to watch your videos and fans. So we'll have to do more. I know. I know. It's like okay. I'm thinking this. Maybe this could be a reality show. I have to think about this. <laughs> <laughs> and you could bring a different one of well, us that's on what every, I mean. every time. Yeah, that's you what know, I'm like saying. Like gyro, yeah. Elaine. You know? I know, and Jairo, well, he did great today, I'm sure. I he didn't did. Know what he, said. he did. I think he's got a new computer because he sounded different. He sounded, his voice sounded a little different to me. Well, that's good for people that they're getting used to him, too. Yeah, he's a good guy. All right, thanks, miss. We'll All see right, you in the morning. Tomorrow. tomorrow morning. Have a good day. All right, bye. Okay, bye.